Hey guys, welcome to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you how to fix 404 error in a WordPress website. So I just want to clarify this, uh, the 404 error in your web WordPress website isn't actually unique to WordPress itself. So this error can be encountered on any website that we have on the internet. So there's actually multiple ways on how we could actually resolve this one. So the first way that we could resolve this one is we want to check if we mistype the URL itself. So make sure that you have the correct URL and you're correctly accessing your website. So if you mistype your URL, then you might have the 404 error up here on your screen here. Now, one more thing that we could do to fix this issue is we want to check if there are any caching issues on our web browser. So if you're having any any caching issues on your web browser, then the only thing that we will need to do here is basically clear our cache. So to do that, we want to go to the top right of the screen, that's the G dotted icon, and you want to go to settings. Now under settings, you want to go to privacy and security. Here you want to click on clear browsing hit data. And from here, you want to click on the last hour. So if it's still working in the last hour, if you want to delete your data for the whole day or the several last days where it's still working, you could go ahead and do that. Now from here, if you want to also delete your browsing history, you could go ahead and do that and also delete your cookies and other side data. But the important thing here is we want to delete our cache images and files. So you could just retain this one and remove this one. But if you also want to delete this too, you could go ahead and do that and just click on clear data. And yeah, so the next thing that we could do here is we could actually uh, wait for our website to work properly. So sometimes there are issues on the DNS. This especially prominent on websites that are, are, are recently registered on a DNS. So you might want to basically wait for the problem to resolve itself. And once it resolves itself, you'll be able to access your website. And that's about it. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you could use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.